Can we reverse the biological clock? These experts think so. Why do we get older? It's one of life's more perplexing questions that has plagued scientists for ages with no compelling forthcoming answers. But researchers are drawing ever closer to finding out what makes life tick. And it's just a matter of time before they've cracked that egg. The fountain of youth might not be that far from our grasp after all. For all we know, it could even become the next must-have energy drink in a few decades. In today's video, we're taking a peek at what the world's leading biotech companies have been working on recently. Concepts like stopping and even reversing the aging process always fell within the realm of science fiction. But for these folks, age is just a number, as they draw ever closer to finding out why humans grow old and what can be done about it. Aging isn't a simple process by any means and it isn't influenced by solitary causes, but rather a combination of factors. So here are three major breakthroughs scientists have recently made that may explain why we age and what we can do to combat the effects of getting older. First up is a biotech startup called Unity Biotech in San Francisco. This company has been studying the behavior and effects of senescent cells. Now this does get a little tricky to explain, but I'll try and break it down for you. The word senescent means becoming elderly, which is a very apt name for these little cells because they might be one of the main causes of aging. Scientists have known for a while now that our cells are continuously dividing throughout our lives. The old ones die out and are replaced by newer ones. And that's how we regenerate skin and other tissues, for example. Cellular senescence is a phenomenon that represents the cessation of cell division meaning cells actually stop dividing and renewing themselves. There are typically a number of reasons behind this. Our DNA gets damaged as a result of the shortening of telomeres, but more on that in a bit. Then there are also oncogenes, which get activated in this process. These genes can transform normal cells into potentially cancerous tumor cells. And finally, oxidative stress is another aging factor, and it's caused by chemical reactions to oxygen. But back to senescent cells. These cells are typically destroyed in a process known as apoptosis. This process refers to the body's way of eliminating cells to maintain a proper balance of cells and is regulated by our immune systems. But as we age, our immune systems get weaker and can't eliminate senescent cells as vigorously as before. We're all born with these cells and while they do play an important role, they're also here to aid in our demise. Senescent cells secrete harmful proteins that lead to inflammation and our tissues breaking down. As they increase in number, so do these effects on our bodies. So you could call them zombie cells of the body because they keep increasing with age and cause deterioration in their neighboring cells. Researchers, including those at Unity Biotechnology, have been working on ways to remove senescent cells from the human body so that they cannot multiply to the point where we start to decline quickly. By removing these cells via new senolytic drugs, researchers are hoping to rejuvenate stem cells and extend people's lives while making them healthier at the same time. Unity Biotechnology has already started human trials, the latest of which was conducted towards the end of 2019. So we might not be shedding our old bodies for new ones like in altered carbon anytime soon, but we could potentially live much longer in the ones we have. Now let's switch our focus to those telomeres I mentioned earlier. Telomeres are the small sections in our DNA sequences that protect the ends of chromosomes and keep them from sticking together. These repeat along with the patterns in our DNA between 3,000 and 15,000 times and allowing cells to divide without losing any genes. The problem is that telomeres get shorter every time a cell divides and eventually they're too short to keep going on. The result is that our cells can no longer divide effectively and we start to age. Labella Gene Therapeutics has been studying this phenomenon and are focusing their efforts on finding a way to manipulate telomeres in order to extend their lifespan. Telomeres rely on an enzyme called telomerase to stay intact. And the company has found out that manipulating a gene called TERT could be the key as this gene provides the instructions for making part of telomerase. Labella has now moved their study to Colombia, where they're conducting human trials at $1 million a pop, as in you pay to participate in order to circumvent FDA restrictions. It's still too early to tell if this might work or not, but the company has faced some hard critics 
including experts at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center, who are concerned with the potential risks involved. But time is moving on, and we're not getting any younger. Yet. Let's move on to Dr. Steve Horvath, a geneticist at UCLA, who released the results of a four-year study on the effects of growth hormones on the thymus in 2019. His study revealed that the cocktail of drugs they used also affected the epigenic clock, a biomarker that determines a person's biological age. When they were busy testing DNA methylation, they found that the epigenic clocks of the study's participants have been reset by nearly 2.5 years. Their immune systems had also shown signs of regeneration. These results are very promising and could provide another clue in the aging puzzle. But we'll have to wait for bigger sample sizes and more testing before we actually start celebrating. Will any of these three studies unlock the secret to prolonged lifespans? Only time will tell. For now, human trials are starting for both Unity Biotechnology and Labella Gene Therapeutics. And research is continuing into other aging factors as well.